Polk County Utilities Division provides safe drinking water, wastewater collection, and treatment systems to nearly 65,750 accounts in unincorporated communities throughout the county. In some service areas, this division also provides reclaimed water. Coming up on Polk Place, we will talk meter reading, so make sure you stick around. Hello, welcome back to Polk Place. I'm Tricia Pichette, and I'd like to introduce you to Tim Tennant. Welcome. Hi, hi. nice to meet you. So let's talk all things water meters. What, yes. What can we learn about water meters? Uh, um, currently, the county's in the middle of a change out program. Um, we have an old style of meter that we currently have. Uh, we're about 20% through our change out. These are the meters we have. These are an analog system. Uh, now we get a lot of calls on how do we, how can a customer read it? How how can they tell if something is going on at their house? How do do I have a leak? Things like that. Um, if if you're just looking to read it and just to get the information for it, uh, what we do is our billing is done on the white dials only that we bill in the thousands. Okay. If your meter is turning and you potentially have a leak, you will see the silver star in the middle spinning. And that's going to spin counterclockwise. Okay. The red needle will move in a clockwise motion. Now, like I said, we are in the middle of a change out. We are going to all digital meters. Our digital meters will have nine digits across the bottom. Um, it has a rate of flow indicator, what direction the water is traveling, and there's also another section to let you know what's going on with the meter. Is there an alert? Is there a leak? Is there whatever might be going on at the house. Mm -hmm. um, so how many people in the county roughly have those? Uh, we're about 20% through okay. right now. So we do the math, probably eight, 10,000 so far. Now does a, a person have to come out and check, check the new meters or is it done automatically? It's right now we are still doing a, a drive-by mode system is okay. what we call it. Um, you will have a technician come by with a laptop, everything is set up in the truck, they drive by the house and it'll pick up a reading. The oh, meters okay. meters will send out a signal every 10 seconds and we'll know we can get the reading that way. Okay. Um, we are working on more systems that are in the future within the next five to 10 years that may make it somewhat easier. Okay. But that's a, that's a down the road project. All right. Um, like I said, if you know, we bill in the thousands mm -hmm. on the old style 3G meters, as we call them, um, we only use the white dials, which makes it easier to, to recognize. With the new ones, it's a nine digit setup, and we're only using those first four, okay. the ones that are in red here. Now, obviously, there's no water flowing through the meter that I had in my hand, so it's, <laughs> it's kind, kind of hard to explain you know, what's going on. If water is flowing through, you will see the rate of flow. This one happens to show 8.2 gallons, mm -hmm. and it is showing the direction of flow. So if it has the arrow with a, a positive sign, then yes, water is being sent through the county system into your house or into your business or wherever you're getting the water to. Okay. Um, after 24 hours, if it registers flow continuously, it will generate a leak alarm. And Thankfully, I can't show you on a meter right now. We, we try and take care of those as we come across mm -hmm. them. But when a leak does come up, it will show a, a leak icon here in the upper right corner. Okay. And that's just a water droplet. That's letting you know there's something that might be going wrong. This might be something to address. Um, in this example, we have it at 8.2 gallons per minute. That's the average rate of flow for a garden hose. Mm -hmm. So if you have a garden hose, Maybe um, you know, the pool company came out and they were taking care of the pool. They might have left the hose on. 8.2 gallons is going to go through every minute. Wow. So, which, you know, in, in the world of conservation, that's not what we're after. So, as an individual, if, 
if I have a meter that has a leak alarm, is that something that I am sort of glancing at my meter on a fairly regular basis to make sure that's not happening, or is that something you're going to tell me about? How does that work? Well, with the new meters, it, it would be a lot easier for you to tell on your own if you happen to go out and look. Mm -hmm. um, when we do come by and read the meters for the monthly billing, if there is a leak alarm, then the computer stores that information, it notifies our office, and we will generate a leak letter at that point. So we okay. will send you a letter to your house or um, wherever you have a mailing address set up. You know, we have a lot of out-of-state customers, okay. so we can send it to their house wherever they may be, mm -hmm. and then they can get a property management company to come by and check it out. Okay. Um, if there is a leak and you, know, you want to take care of it, you want to shut the water off, if something happens and you happen to have a pipe that breaks, you go back out to the meter and you're actually going to go to the curb stop. This is where we turn the water on and off. Mm -hmm. In this case, the water would be off because there's two loops that are aligned with each other. You can, in this case, it would be turned on. This is just a 90 degree curb stop. This one would be turned on. If you do have a leak, you can get a, a pair of pliers, a crescent wrench. Um, they even sell the tools at you know, any of the hardware stores that are designed to go over this, turn it, line up these two loops, and then that way, at that point, the water is off. So um, if I'm water conscious, if I want to, um, to make sure that everything is, is good in my house, I don't have any leaks, should I go out and check once every couple of weeks to look at one of these new meters? Yeah, it, it absolutely wouldn't hurt. Um, like I said, just keep in mind that as far as billing goes, we only bill in the thousands. Okay. Um, it is possible for a customer to use, say, 1,150 gallons in a month. At that point, the extra 150, we kind of put off to the side. We're only billing for the 1,000. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, if you are, a constant user of the same amount. You're, you know, every month it's 1,150 gallons, 1,150 gallons. Eventually, those extra 150s will catch up to you. Ah. Um, yeah, the, the reading could go from 1,150, the next month it's 2,300, then 3,450. At some point, that thousands mark is going to jump by two. So, you know, with the with the 1150 every six months there's going to be an extra thousand that shows up on the bill and that's because it's catching up to you at that point okay so you know, we do have customers call in that say you know well my bill has jumped you know it's doubled i don't know what's going on are you estimating are you guessing does anybody actually come out we do come out we do read each individual meter um, we actually have a, a program in place where we read each meter by hand physically without the computers at least once a year to make sure that everything works properly. Okay. Uh, it, it's just that, that extra rollover that kind of catches up and surprises people every now and then. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. I would have been one so. of those people that's surprised. Yeah. But thank you very much. Oh, absolutely. Thank good you for to know, having me. Good to know that new mm -hmm. equipment is coming. Yes. And thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Polk County Utilities offers water and or sewer and in some areas reclaimed service to customers in the unincorporated areas of Polk County. All customers within the Polk County service area have their water measured by a meter. This results in each customer paying their share of the operating system based upon the amount of water used. For more information on rates, meters, and other programs available through Polk County Utilities, you can give them a call at 863-298-4100 or look them up on the web at www.polk-county.net.